Welcome guys, Silvermoon here. Today we'll start a new campaign with Lizardman and we play as Cult of Shotek. So let's get started as I, I will explain the strategy. So go for the money first. We need to unlock Skink Barrios. Oops, sorry. So we can start upgrading this line here. These are the most important. Lizardman are quite expensive, so you should really start working on this uh, line. But for now, let's buff the strength of our skink. Okay, let's check the diplomacy. Prince of Alpha. I can speak very well. Okay, we want to be friends with the elves. Don't be fooled and attack them <laughs> early. There are many enemies around. We have Skaven, Tomb Kings, Dark Elves, and many more to come. So let's go to the first battle. Okay, Cult of Shotek has uh, some unique abilities. You are sacrificing uh, so you get some bonuses. <laughs> they have some uh, very cool. You can start with uh, plus 15 at a casualty replacement, which is quite strong, especially in early in the game. Okay, let's see the army. Two ranged units, one catapult, and two plague monks. With the heavy hitters in the middle. Okay, let's charge them. Like this. Okay, for start we have the flock of doom. Okay. Black catapults are annoying. Okay, we have the Bastiladen with the art of Shotek. Does a little damage. But the most effective is uh, damage over time. It's poison damage. Hit the summon. Missions are doing poison damage, which is, means it's effective to spread them. That can poison. Kings are quite weak, but they are very fast. The bulk of the enemy forces are right flank. Okay, for the red crested skins, I don't like them. I don't think they are 
Strong enough. They have some piercing damage, but their stats are very low. I'd rather have a unit that has some kind of range attack. But Gorge did well. Didn't take much damage. There's our veteran. He's quite slow. He gets in the mount. These are quite annoying with all these voices. Okay, well done. Okay, got a few losses. Croxigors did most of the damage with the Bastiladon and the Salamanders. This is always the best option for the sacrificial offerings. You get replenishment. Also, you can start doing the rituals. You need five at start to reduce the cost of your lizard mana warriors. And let's try to make Flock of Doom a little stronger. Let's of Skaven. It's the usual map. Attack from the north here. If we manage to get inside, here is a blind spot. Towers can't hit you. Move up here. There is no wind. 
first group just smash the gate. Second and third. We should have around one, two or three summons. They look funny. Forces come here. Walk all up. Here are the summons. More summons. Get your boss. For you, Fox Santa. Probably we won't be able to pass from here. It's just to pick up space. Gracias, 
Let's try to push on our right. It's hard to maneuver around. Four guns on the right. Here. And by Bastion. Let's move out. I think we did good. Many casualties. We cast the ritual to boost the replenishment now. Okay, this Bastilladon is quite good, I think. For low tier units. Does a lot of damage. For this one, alignment of crafting gives growth and bonus to, so to income. Okay, here let's build. Let's go with the cohorts. They have shields. They have a few ammunition. The sacrificial offerings. This means you can use the replacement rate. This is a nice AOE with three charges. This is cheaper and give us a little armor. We'll see next turn. Okay, we have Skaven, Clan Pestilence, somewhere here in the jungle.
Pokeballs eat some. Okay, for the Scar Veterans, I think the best option is to go for the Blade Master because you have a low melee attack. Kibar Jamtul. Now we will march towards the Tomb Kings. We have three provinces over here. We should try to take them out before Skaven attack us. These guys are a little expensive, but, but they are worth it. They have missile resistance, which is quite useful. Should have one full stack somewhere. For the diplomas. Go for the armor. I can't see their army yet. And here are the dwarves. Let's build Tahenawin Sikal. Take priest. I can't see their army yet. It is has a fort. If they come inside, I don't think we can take them out. Okay, I can't reach this one yet. It's a qua, it's a nuet. But I can come here. Moskins. Let's give a little more boost. The problem with the resentment is that the, their units are very expensive. So early on you have to play mostly on skinks. I will fight this one. Don't want to take many losses. Because we have to take the capital and their army. There are seven units.
These guys over here. And here. With our backline, we can destroy the tower. With a little of throws, we cut the damage. down Fast or they are good capturing points. Okay, I know I should have sent some kings to surround the settlement. I can't, I can't be bothered anymore. Minor set me bad. Becoming a little old.
One of the most common topics in Reddit and Warhammer 3 forums was the minor settlement battles. If they were good, they were bad, if they, they were needed some adjustment. The majority of the players, I think, was against this kind of battles. But many, many people like, like, like them. But soon in the next patch we will have some changes. CA hasn't given any info yet, but in one or two weeks I hope they do something at least to reduce the number of them. What do we have here? I don't think I need the second one. Just to demolish it. I'll use the ammo to stance. lost her first settlement in Skaven. Okay, this is good news. Deck. It is very cool. Gives three control, but I can't get. Gibar jumping. So let's see. I will go with the ambush chance, or not. Okay, let's go. Look when the winds and let's boost the ambush a bit. It's at the so it will help fight this cavern. So the kikulu. It's a quad. It's a net. Okay, we need three more rituals. The first will be. Let me but have the armor thing and the casualty replace. Let's get the jungle shroud. The leadership. Oh, okay, warriors are a little cheaper now. Spawn one. Saltic. 
Litaxa. And another one. Kiko Shilly. I don't think they have another army. At least I hope they don't have. The dwarves like us. But I don't think they will survive much longer. But I won't attack them for now. I will focus on this caven. Faction destroyed. I forbid this. Let's save game. Case game crashes. Check the map first. We don't have many archer units. I have one annoying catapult. At least now we have some decent units. <laughs> they have night defense, they have shields or showers. Find a good spot. Yeah, there are no towers here. You probably see I forgot to put towers here. One group for this and one for that. The forces are here, that's good. So they quap up! Only you, Jock Dog! Sir Jock Dog! Some people say this magic is better than the Warhammer thing. But I still find it a little lackluster. Nice vortex doesn't affect our own units. Yeah, 
guys are blocking. If we move closer, they won't be able to hit us. But first priority is break the first line of defense. Guys. Enough, I think. We are poisoned now. Much about the casualties. I think we will have one or two turns to replenish. We don't have anything left. Beautiful land battle.
this Bastilla zones will be great if they were earlier. If you can uh, recruit them early in the campaign. I think I will try one or two in a late game armies. Okay, the plan is now to head south and deal with the Skaven. Go with the defense. Go the flying mount. We are still not at war with the Dark Elves. Okay, that was the episode for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Lizardmen are quite fun factions to play. They have very strong magic with a slant uh, priest mazes and very cool beast units. So that was it. If you have any suggestions about the campaign, leave it down in the comments. See you in the next one. See ya, guys.